In this podcast episode, Dr. Mark Hyman, a renowned physician and wellness expert, discusses the alarming state of health in America, particularly concerning chronic diseases and the food system. He emphasizes the urgent need for change and the responsibility of individuals to reclaim their health. Dr. Hyman begins by highlighting a staggering statistic. Six out of 10 Americans currently live with a chronic illness and four out of 10 have more than one. This alarming trend has transformed the United States from a relatively healthy nation to one of the sickest in the world. The rise in chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and cancer is not just a personal health issue. It represents a systemic failure that requires immediate attention. Dr. Hyman points out that the healthcare system is spending more money than ever, yet people are getting sicker, raising the question of why this is happening. The root causes of this epidemic are multifaceted, but Dr. Hyman emphasizes that our food system plays a significant role. He argues that the industrialization of agriculture has led to the production of cheap, processed foods that are detrimental to our health. The consequences of this shift are evident in the rising rates of obesity and chronic diseases, particularly among children. Dr. Hyman's assertion that if another country were harming American children in this way, we would go to war, underscores the urgency of addressing this crisis. Dr. Hyman asserts that the American food system is designed more to harm than to heal. He explains that after World War II, there was a push to industrialize agriculture to feed a growing population, which inadvertently led to the mass production of sugar and starch. This shift has resulted in an abundance of ultra-processed foods that are now staples in the American diet. The consequences of this industrial food system are dire, contributing to environmental degradation and the deterioration of public health. The industrialization of agriculture has not only affected the quality of food, but also the health of the environment. Dr. Hyman discusses how practices such as tillage have destroyed soil health, leading to a loss of carbon and biodiversity. The runoff from fertilizers has polluted waterways, creating dead zones that threaten marine life. This environmental impact is intertwined with public health as the very systems that produce our food are also harming the planet. One of the key points Dr. Hyman makes is the detrimental impact of ultra-processed foods on health. He explains that these foods, which make up a significant portion of the American diet, are not truly food, but rather chemical concoctions designed to be addictive. The consumption of these products leads to a cycle of overeating and poor health outcomes. Dr. Hyman cites research showing that people consuming ultra-processed diets tend to eat more calories, leading to weight gain and metabolic dysfunction. The consequences of this dietary pattern are profound. Dr. Hyman notes that ultra-processed foods are linked to a range of health issues, including obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. He emphasizes that these foods hijack our biology disrupting our metabolism and appetite regulation. The result is a population that is increasingly unhealthy, with rising rates of chronic diseases that could be prevented through better dietary choices. Dr. Hyman stresses that getting healthy is a team sport. He believes that individuals are more likely to succeed in their health journeys when they have support from friends, family, or community groups. The isolation many people feel in their struggles with weight and health can be debilitating, and having a support system can make a significant difference. He encourages listeners to find accountability partners or join groups focused on health and wellness. The power of community extends beyond individual support. It can also drive systemic change. Dr. Hyman shares a story about a successful program that helped thousands of people lose weight and improve their health through community engagement. By working together, Individuals can inspire one another and create a culture of health that challenges the prevailing norms of the food industry. This collective effort is essential for reversing the trends of chronic illness and fostering a healthier society. Education is another critical theme in Dr. Hyman's discussion. He highlights the lack of nutritional education in medical schools, which leaves healthcare professionals ill-equipped to address the root causes of chronic diseases. Dr. Hyman argues that if doctors are not trained in nutrition, they cannot effectively guide their patients toward healthier choices. 
This gap in education perpetuates the cycle of illness and reliance on medications rather than preventive measures. Dr. Hyman advocates for a comprehensive approach to health education that includes not only medical professionals, but also the general public. He believes that empowering individuals with knowledge about nutrition and lifestyle choices is essential for fostering a healthier society. By understanding the impact of food on health, people can make informed decisions that lead to better outcomes for themselves and their families. The conversation also touches on the connection between diet and mental health. Dr. Hyman explains that many mental health issues, including depression and anxiety, are linked to metabolic dysfunction and inflammation caused by poor dietary choices. He emphasizes that the brain is affected by what we eat, and a diet high in sugar and processed foods can lead to negative mental health outcomes. This connection highlights the importance of viewing health holistically. Dr. Hyman encourages listeners to consider how their food choices impact not only their physical health, but also their mental well-being. By prioritizing a nutrient-dense diet, individuals can support their mental health and improve their overall quality of life. Dr. Hyman discusses the need for systemic policy changes to address the health crisis in America. He points out that the food industry wields significant influence over government policies, often prioritizing profits over public health. This dynamic creates a situation where unhealthy foods are subsidized and healthy options are less accessible. Dr. Hyman advocates for policies that promote healthy eating and protect consumers from misleading marketing practices. He cites examples from other countries that have successfully implemented policies to improve public health, such as front-of-package labeling and restrictions on junk food marketing. Dr. Hyman believes that similar measures could be effective in the United States, but they require a concerted effort from both the public and policymakers. By advocating for change at the systemic level, individuals can help create an environment that supports healthier choices. Throughout the podcast, Dr. Hyman emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility in health. He encourages listeners to take charge of their well-being by making informed choices about their diets and lifestyles. While systemic changes are necessary, individuals also have the power to create change in their own lives. Dr. Hyman believes that by prioritizing health and wellness, people can break free from the cycle of chronic illness. Taking personal responsibility involves not only making healthier food choices, but also seeking out information and resources to support one's health journey. Dr. Hyman's work, including his books and online programs, aims to empower individuals with the knowledge they need to make positive changes. By taking ownership of their health, people can inspire others and contribute to a broader movement toward wellness. Dr. Hyman discusses the role of supplements in supporting health, particularly in a world where many people are nutritionally deficient. He explains that while whole foods should be the foundation of a healthy diet, supplements can help fill in the gaps. For example, many individuals may not get enough vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, or magnesium from their diets alone. Dr. Hyman advocates for the responsible use of supplements to enhance overall health. He emphasizes that supplements should not be seen as a replacement for a healthy diet, but rather as a complementary approach. By combining whole foods with targeted supplementation, individuals can optimize their health and address specific deficiencies. Dr. Hyman encourages listeners to consult with healthcare professionals to determine the best supplements for their individual needs. As the conversation draws to a close, Dr. Hyman expresses hope for the future of health in America. He believes that with increased awareness and education, individuals can reclaim their health and challenge the status quo. The growing interest in nutrition and wellness, along with the rise of grassroots movements, signals a shift toward a healthier society. Dr. Hyman is optimistic that change is possible, but it requires collective effort and commitment.